Yes, sir, it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice. Thank you. you guys have fun today. Uh, you too. Have fun with that little one. Thank you. <laughs> Cute little thing. Old checker cab. Look at that. No, it's not a checker cab. What is that? It's a cool car, is what that is. And I put the tea bags. Yep, that's the brand name. Windshield pockets on. So far, they kind of affect the turbulence just a tad. So I'm going to try some things with the wing vents and then maybe, uh, I don't know, take them off. I wish that middle bag would come out so the vent would flow up like it's supposed to. No, those don't really help. Got my Harley Hammock saddle on. Got the spring shocks on. I went ahead and tested the tent. My sleeping setup. Make sure that was all good to go. I'll feature some uh, footage from the tent inventory and the sleeping bag setup. sleeping arrangement and I had this nice Coleman uh, fleece light sleeping bag it says it's rated down to 50 degrees Fahrenheit it didn't get down to 50 degrees Fahrenheit but it got really damp and really super chilly didn't do the job hardly slept at all so went out today and got a different sleeping bag which I put in my compression bag and because I am a broad shouldered individual. We got a big and tall sleeping bag. That is rated down to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It is a lot poofier. It's got nice thickness to it. This is the Coleman Montauk, so I'm going to try it tonight, see if I can keep from chittering my teeth and uh, chattering my teeth and getting too damp and wet. It's not sleeping well. So the Montauk sleeping bag did really well. Not bad for $40. It got a little too warm. I actually had to sleep in just shorts and a t-shirt. If I had this off for most of the trip except for where we do the tolls, I can put it down in the saddlebag or maybe, uh, where else could I put it? In the trunk, trunk bag. My spidey sense said don't speed, good reason, look at that. <laughs> 